took a little break to go just get something to drink and also get some potato chips. This here is a dill pickle flavored potato chip. It's good shit. Okay. Can we go talk to the little baby? Do we have to talk to you? Um, I have a thought. Huh? You're going to represent Mr. Uncle, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. Oh, um, but what if... What if he is the real murderer? What would you do then, Mr. Nick? <clears throat> would you fight to get a not guilty for her murder or to save Mystic Maya? Pearls. Let's talk to Mr. Ongard first, okay? We can think of all the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. It, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> Poor baby. <clears throat> Pearls? You're really worried about Maya, aren't you? I don't have anyone else left in this world. What do you mean? My family's all gone. Her family? My father, he left my mother in the village behind and went away. I'm sorry. And my mother, she did that thing all for me. Baby girl! Ah! Mystic Maya! She's like a sister to me. Oh, baby girl. She's all I have left in this world. <laughs> Pearl puppy. <laughs> oh, I want to give her a hug. Hillary, right, let's go. We couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early to visit one nickel samurai charged with the murder of the Jamma Ninja. I don't like how his character looks. I don't like the whole hair in the face. I don't- I don't- I don't vibe with that. G good morning. How are you today? Oh, I don't have a voice for him. Hmm. I know the situation might be a little tough for you. Um, where- Oh, sorry, dude. Huh? I already signed up. I excuse me? I already have life insurance. I signed up a long time ago because my job is, you know. <clears throat> oh, no, 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 no. We're not insurance salespeople. Oh, really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. Well, I don't, it, I, I don't really have a voice for myself. Okay, whatever. Fire extinguishers? I mean, this building is in my house, so. What if I made him, like, sound like Nagito? Or how people voice Nagito? Hajime! I mean, this building is in my house, so, uh, I can't do a good Nagito voice. No, 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 no. We're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer. Oh, I forgot he does this. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? I bet boop, bet boop. The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? Beppo, beppo. I think strange is an understatement. You know, he had the, the, the it's like, like how they have what, Apple Watches now, we have, they had, whatever that was, a flip watch. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer, dude, right? My manager's looking for a good run right now, so how about it? I have to make him let me take his case. I have to. Mm -hmm. Let's talk. Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Uh, that's okay, but dude, my autobiography is coming out soon, so... If I say stuff without the publisher's approval, then I'm gonna be in real hot water. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my publisher, okay? I why didn't they confiscate this? From you. What the hell? Mr. Arnold, you're so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. Uh, I don't know if he actually has anyone he can really talk to. Sorry about that. 
Like I thought, the publish put what the publisher said it'd be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? Mr. Ongard, I would like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tablet as a side job, dude? Um, uh, well, if you want my statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, 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 I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the president of the studio, okay? Is he alright, Mr. Nick? If we're talking about Mr. Ongard's brain here, I wouldn't put my money on it. Sorry about that. The studio president said, even Neo Malfuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Uh, Mr. Nick? What's Neo Malfuji? It's a mountain in the city of Neo Old Tokyo. The city the Nickel Samurai protects. I guess I have to show him something? Uh, here's a photo of you. Dude, I know I like to throw money around, but it's not like I buy anything and everything. That's nice, because it's not up for sale anyway. Oh, what if I just show this? <gasps> Mr. Nick, what are you gonna do with that? I don't know yet, but I figured I could at least show it to him. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one, too. I got it as a present from someone. Hmm, interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiver? Yes. Dude, that's terrible. Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. This coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist? Oh, really? Do I give him a badge? Mr. On Guard, this is an attorney's badge. Dude, I'm sorry, but I don't have the free time to be looking at things like that. Huh? I'm much too busy with Nickel Samurai stuff right now. I don't have the time to take a lawyer's correspondence course. Why does he believe I'm a salesman? Insurance and extinguishers? Now this? Got it? What do I get? Uh, do I have to present a profile then? Um. Juan? Man, it's too bad he's dead. You killed him. That's the most logical conclusion. Don't you agree? Dude, what are you talking about? You're making a huge mistake. If that's such a mistake, then why did they issue an arrest warrant for you? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask the guy in charge of this place, okay? Hey, baby, baby. Stars show what stars show sure know a lot of people, don't they? I wonder if that phone even really gets reception in here. Well, there's a window out there. Uh, I guess you're right about the warrants after all. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we might be making some progress here. Yeah, I'm such a handsome devil. Uh, y yeah. And I'm way too good at sports. Karate, jet, what? Jettis? <laughs> it's tennis, but with <laughs> jean rackets. Uh, denim rackets, I mean. Karate, tennis, judo, soccer, football, hockey, fencing. Dude, it's no wonder I'm so popular. Uh, y yeah. You're also good at sitting in a jail, Mr. Popular. What? What the? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are? What do I do? What do I? Didn't I present everything to you already? Huh? What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. You were going to give one after winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh? Me? Yes. While well, you were in costume, no less. Um, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. Oh! I just remembered something. Or, I think? Or am I, am I misremembering? Oh, whatever. He didn't know? That's odd. Well, dude, I think it's about time for me to get going. Please wait! I really need to take your case! There's always other people in need of lawyers, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Please! Please let Mr. Nick represent you! 
Man, oh man, lawyers these days. Now you dudes use kids to pull in clients too. It's true, you really shouldn't have a kid coming with you to the fucking jail cell with criminals. If you don't take me as your lawyer, wait, wait, if you don't take me as your lawyer, then the killer's going to- Wait, what did you just say? The killer. The, the killer? What's he doing? He looks like he's mulling something over. Hmm. Alright, dude. I accept your terms. Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We, we did it! We did it, Mr. Nick! Uh, yeah. I don't feel any better for it. And he doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead. Ask me anything. I'll help out as much as I can. Okay, let's talk then. Man, I thank my lucky stars that people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero. And you're in the national spotlight. I didn't know who he is. Does that mean I'm not a good citizen? Uh, it's really great to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately, I just keep on getting more and more popular. True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among the high schoolers and secretaries right now. <laughs> I guess Mr. Arngard has a way of catching the eyes of women. Well, some women, I guess. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. A spring breeze? That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. But everyone loves a good scandal. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I had that post-ceremony stage show to do. So I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time? My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show? I told you, dude. I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was gonna confess something. Anyway, when I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Corito was already dead at that time? Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager. I'm beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. And that's when a detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then, out of the blue, the dude arrested me. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Corita. What sort of- that's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. You're not wrong, but... And he wanted to try to make a Jammin' Ninja movie, even though we all know it failed. The Nickel Samurai still wanted the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm. So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, you'd think it'd be the other way around, you know? Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Jammin' Ninja's custom. A button? I don't get it either. It was caught in the pleats of my samurai pants, or Hakama. Ah! Dude, I really think someone planted it there though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. I guess this is about all I'm gonna get out of him. Mr. Nick? Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. Let's test- Let's test Mr. Arngard to see if he really is innocent or not. We can do that? Yes. If you use this. Why is Magatama? He won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. Mr. Arngard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Corita? Please put the phone away and answer this question yourself. All right, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that included Juan, Juan what? I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Corita, okay? Well, Mr. Nick? 
Nothing. Not a chain or a lock in sight. Which means... It's alright to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that my client's innocent. Um, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. To be continued. Oh. Oh, I guess I didn't get it to be continued before. Wait. Wait. Are we in court? No? No, we're investigating. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I thought we were in court. I was like, what? How are we in court already? Um. I saved just now, right? Let me just save again just to be sure. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Well, at least we were able to get Mr. Ongard as our client. And we know that he didn't do it, which is very important. So, so now what should we do? Well, the trial is tomorrow, and we only get this one chance. There's only one way to prove Mr. Ongard's innocence. We have to find a real killer. Okay, then just start looking. I don't, I don't think I need to talk to her. Um, let's go to the hotel lobby. Why am I no sitch? Oh, I wasn't expecting to see her. Hey, what do you think they're doing? You can't come in without- Good morning. Hold on, it's you! What is going on around here? Uh, uh... I heard Bar Juan was killed. Is that true? It's a bad rewind is what this is! Another steel samurai doing the most of evil deeds! Uh, you know, that's not entirely- I'll have you know that I was a huge fan of Juan's! Why, oh, why do all the stars I'm interested in drop? One by one, like flies! It's always been that way. I was just a little girl in elementary school. The class hamster was fine until the turn, my turn to clean the cage, and then all the kids start calling me Queen Reaper. I swear, to, whatever your name is, the evil smiles of the desert, whatever. Uh, um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. Huh? Don't push me, bye! Huh? Mr. Nick? I, uh, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was talking too fast. Miss Oldbag. Could you please speak a little slower? Don't pass me around, you spiky hair, spiny pants! I love the guy. I don't- I don't know why it's there. I don't know why they chose to go this route for her outfit, but like, I love it. <laughs> My dear Hammer died a year ago in that dreadful murder. And only recently did I finally find a star that made his heart go ba-dump again. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star I for always end up kicking the bucket? Uh... I'd watch your words! No one's gonna get away with saying anything bad about my Juan! But I haven't said anything. But I don't believe a word that woman says anyway! Huh? What woman? That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent! I mean, what is that manner of speaking supposed to be? And why does she never stop? Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meaning of the word modesty. When I was young and made it, I was beautiful and the flowers of the field blush, but that's why at this I pressed flowers and read the star blah, 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 blah. Uh, Pearls, are you thirsty? Uh, a little. Okay, I'll go get you some juice or something. Th thank you very much. Hey, are you paying attention? Young and today. So I'm guessing Miss Oldbag heard everything from Lada. I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Anything about that? I was here getting ready. Then why are you fucking here? Getting ready? For what? The show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. Cue mystery music for the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. Uh, I see. But. But if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of the night! The, the most important moment? You don't mean- Oh, so now you treat me with respect, you disrespectful child! When you speak to your elders, you should always be polite! Really, kids today? Please tell me, what did you see? <laughs> oh my god, there's so much of it! The murder last night was gruesome, wasn't it? But then what murder is it? Please don't stray onto another tangent, please. If you want to hear more, then show your respect to bring this lady a present. A present? 
fucking hell. I'm leaving. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigating of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, gotta roll the sleeves and try, I guess. Let's go to the hallway. Oh, fucking hell. Hey, you're here! Been waiting for you, Miss Lawyer! I don't I know what to do with a lot of. Hey, Mr. Coffell! The thief showed his face! Excuse you? W what? Arrest him! Put him on trial! Find him guilty! Give him the death penalty! What's wrong, Lana? Are you feeling alright? Look up and what? Look here and there and up and down and down and down Look here and there and up and down and down and down and here. So I don't just hurry about giving back to me, creep. The front, the fucking nerve. What? What are you looking for? My camera. Camera. It's my last blood. I'm gonna die without my seven hundred dollar camera. How did you lose it? Your camera. Look, don't lots of people say the criminal always comes back to the scene of the crime? And looky looky, here you are! <sighs> yep, here I am, faced with a lot of trouble. And I guess there's also a copter that's coming toward- coming for me? Because I have the camera, apparently? <laughs> huh? Man, I don't want to talk to you. God damn it, why'd you have to show your face again? So you lost your camera? I hope she doesn't sh I'll come back in the next game, I don't remember. It ain't no ordinary camera! You buy it in the store and it's a $1,600 brand new! I was gonna say, I thought DSLR cameras were... Oh, assuming that she has a DSLR camera, I, I just assume that it, that's what it is. I thought they were pretty expensive. Huh? But didn't you just say you bought it for 700 I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. I made this itty bitty scratch on it and the manager got all huffed in the face. He gave me his talking to it and goes real mad about, mean about it. You know what? He gave me his talking to it and was real mean about it too. He don't make me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night after the murder happened. Must have been a while I was busy running around looking into things. That's when I lost sight of my dear darling expensive sweetie. Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't really know. I snapped a shot of anything that caught my eye. So I don't remember. As that, I couldn't get anything from my big scope. I wonder if Lotta's missing camera is even connected to her murder. Hmm. Lotta? Please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time Mr. Ongar was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure you went to school, City Bob? Whatever a lot of hot girls, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. A big scoop? I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Frank, of course, that means I'm always looking for a perfect shot. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for the other stars that were here. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. <laughs> Lotta, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but, what's the, but that's what the real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it that you would hang around here? Fuck. There's so much Megan Thomas to break. I mean, not Megan Thomas, sorry, locks. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Mr. Lock. Can't be telling you that. Trade secrets, you know. Not again. Why does everyone have something to hide? Oh, we even stopped, haven't we? Huh? Yeah, take that, Miss Lock. Fuck off. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lotta and your I will smile. Oh, fuck off. I don't want to deal with you. Get out of here. Let's go in the rooms. Mm hmm? Huh? Where are we? We're in Matt, Mr. Matt Ongard's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I... Oh, may I help you with something? There she is. I feel like her sprite could have been... Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, where? Yeah, Mr. You're Mr. Ongard's lawyers, correct? I gathered as much. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Uh, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow! 
It's a simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow and Mr. Ongar's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here, want to stop in your mad dash to find clues to build this case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. This is really not your time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I'm Adrian Andrews. I didn't remember that being her name. At all. I thought her name started with a J. Or was I thinking of Juan? Maybe I was thinking of Juan. <laughs> I, hate to wa I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Oh, all right. She may be of small stature, but appearance is going to be deceiving. I'm going to examine the room first. Look. Socks. Ba -da -ba -da. It's probably Mr. Ongard's suitcase. For someone who is only going to be here for the award show, this is a lot of stuff. Is it? It, didn't, it doesn't look like it's got a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days worth of clothes in here. What? Stars really are different from ours, aren't they? Uh, what y'all eat? Sure is stained red. Looks like dishes left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. And we turned to Mr. Ongar and Miss Andrew's plates. Looks like they had T-bone steaks. What's with Global Studios and T-bone steaks? Um... I want to see what that NL bag is. There's some samurai looking clothes on the sofa here. Oh, well, I think that jacket looking thing is called a happy. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. Maya would be absolutely thrilled if she were here. <laughs> Oops! That's the bedroom over there. That's a bed? Wow, they have really big beds here. I mean, I guess she's a little girl. She wouldn't need to have a fucking queen-size bed. Hmm? What can I... There's a giant bone sitting on the plate. That's a bone? <laughs> I don't know why I saw that. I thought it was a Cheeto, but I guess there's, there's no reason for a Cheeto to be on a plate. I... I don't really like me. Hmm? There's something weird about this plate. I just wish I could put my finger on what it is. The fact that it's missing a knife, maybe? Uh, is there anything else to examine? I guess that's it. Okay. Let's talk. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Y yes that's correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Ungard. In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you, I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. Well, we know what it was. It was Steve on stage. <laughs> I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. When the award show was starting, I headed for Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No, I had some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh, preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess? When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. Ongar. After that, I went to visit Mr. Corrida. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? You really held strong to everything! Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Uh, so, about you and... Stop right there. You aren't seriously about to ask how Mr. Ongar and I are related, are you? So sorry I have no idea how he could choose you as his lawyer. Why did she have to go and say something like that? Yeah, she'd be mean. Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, alright? <laughs> Aw. I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Ongar's manager. His manager? Speaking of managers, did the victim, Mr. Corita, have one? No, he did not. He didn't? Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios in that Worldwide Studio does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. But how does he get anything done? This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this? Honestly. She's not wrong, but... You're wrong! I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya! Pearls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, alright? Mm. She ain't wrong. She ain't wrong. You're dragging this little eight-year-old girl around to look at murder scenes and all that stuff. 
You were the one taking care of the arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. Ankar said that he didn't know about it. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. It was a request from the publicity department. All I did was help out and do what I was asked. Oh, I see. I wonder about that. I wouldn't take her to be the type of person to do something without knowing the details. Uh, I'd like to ask you about this. I told you, I hate trifling matters. It's a waste of time to show me things that are no relevance to me. Well, that was the first time it shut down so badly. Um, anything about this camera? Uh, I okay, she doesn't care. Wait, are we, are we, are we, are we, what? What? Are we done? Are we done? I guess we're done. Okay, bye! <laughs>